Gonna do some damage! Boomtown! Wow! I see some movement! And I see some... So I did not expect this, actually. So, I just want to let you guys know at around 11 p.m. last night, I saw CNC Reborn dominate the top of the leaderboard, and I thought it was going to be a CNC Reborn show again. But, I stand corrected, and it does look like, which is really exciting, it does look like we see some new faces on the top players leaderboard uh, segment of the show today. So, really, really excited for this. Woohoo! All right, so now mind you, if you're uh, familiar with the show, number six there, Malamakai, we're sorry, but you didn't hit number five, and we only covered the top five here, so that is some inspiration for you to nab the rest of those medals that you need, all, uh, gosh, <laughs> not even that many, under a hundred, um, to catch up with Carlos, but let's go ahead and focus on the top five. <laughs> I can't wait till I have, like, animated logos of, like, Da, da, da. Okay, I'm getting too crazy with that. Let's go ahead and take a look at Carlos. Carlos, number five on the leaderboard today. Empires and Allies. Let's take a look at number five on the leaderboard. What his base just looks like. Carlos, you, sir, are number five today. 37,327 medals. A member of CNC Reborn sitting with 3524. 3,524 wins. Way to go. Let's take a look a little closer at his base and kind of scout around here a little bit. It looks like we see some pretty high-level Patriots, domes, rail guns. Ugh. And what is under the dome there? we got to know. It's currently under construction, so... Look at all this. Yeah, this is really exciting to see a, a pretty well-laid-out base. I love the use of the tarmacs within the, within the, the inner wall there. But you gotta wonder, does that leave the the HQ open for attack by A10 maybe? I don't know. Interesting. But uh, yeah, really cool. Congratulations, uh, Carlos. Loving the layout here. And for all of you looking for some strategy, I got it for you right here. Carlos from CNC Reborn. We salute you here on Firepower Fridays, Empires and Allies Live for holding down number five of the leaderboard. Awesome. All right, let's move on. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at number four. Number four! Currently on the leaderboard, Billy C from Survival Force. This is the first time we've seen Billy C, Billy C on the leaderboard section segment of the show. Really excited for that. Let's take a look at what a number four on the leaderboard base looks like in Empires and Allies. All right, awesome. So we can see here. Oh, this is awesome. Who here sees that? I hope you do because I love it. I I love this the use of the walls here. I I gotta wonder what it does for strategy. Ranger here. Oh, he just guys got his guys are just flying in. Ranger here. Anywho, uh, yeah. So we can see here that Billy C from Survival Force sitting with. 37,334 medals has spelled his name out in walls. Awesome. Uh, encourage? Yeah, sure. Um, definitely. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of rangers there. Okay, maybe we can... We'll kill that a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. Anywho, um, Billy, great work here, and clearly your tactics are doing something because you, sir, are sitting at number five of the leaderboard. I'm sorry, number four of the leaderboard. Empires and Allies today, so congratulations and everybody big shouts to Billy on an awesome base. Alright. Number three. Gosh, now I want to spell out tackers and walls. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Okay. Number three, another new face to this segment of the show. Wally Ruby. <laughs> congratulations, you are number three of the leaderboard. Uh, from Alliance Karma, sitting with three, uh, 37,396 medals. Let's take a look at what a th number three on the leaderboard base looks like in Empires and Allies today. So, oh, cool. Looks not bad. We see some serious upgraded walls all the way up to level 10. Uh, nice little Patriot right next to HQ. Looks like he does not want any air coming up and swooping in. But I also see four dome defenses adorning each corner. Five! I didn't see... So five 
one in the middle there oh it looks like there's even like a little hole into his uh into his wall there i wonder if that is intentional interesting so um well cool very neat uh congratulations uh wally wally burby i'm gonna i'm gonna assume it's wally baby and he just couldn't get that or something or maybe this is his unique way of spelling it who knows but however we say your name wally burby congratulations we salute you here on empires and allies number two top player of the leaderboard no stranger to the show Kara Cartel. I believe Kara Cartel was sitting at number one, so this might be a little stingy. But Kara Cartel from CNC Reborn is sitting at number two. Two members of CNC Reborn. Let's go ahead and call that out, by the way. Great group there. Great teamwork. Looks like people are giving them a little bit of a run for their money. Run for their gold, I guess, is the, is the way to put it. But uh, yeah, congratulations, Kara Cartel, 1979. Great year, by the way. Fantastic year. And a pretty good Smashing Pumpkin song, too. Anyway, um, Kara Cartel from CNC Reborn is holding down the number two slot of the leaderboard. Let's take a look at what the number two slot on the leaderboard looks like, shall we? Awesome. So, I've, I'm sure you all have heard me mention this before. I call it the honeycomb effect. We got some serious walls around this HQ, so I really gotta wonder what it takes to get all the way through all those walls and to HQ, but I'd maybe orbital strike. What would you, what would you all use? So, um, yeah, uh, 37,466 medals, Kara Cartel, 1979 from CNC reborn. This ladies and gentlemen is what a number two on the leaderboard base looks like here on empires and allies today. Maintaining contact. SV six has been mentioned on the show before we've seen his base his or her base from alliance aussie 37,475 medals right above Kara cartel i bet they're just duking it out and that must sting but let's take a look at sv6 today on how they're doing so here we go sv6 from alliance aussie holding down the number one spot on the leaderboard here's what a number one spot on the leaderboard base looks like today so we can see you know what it, it, here's what i love about the different bases that we see in this segment of the show there's there's no rhyme or reason there's no base strategy that works it's what works for you watch your replays watch the twitch show watch the you know w take a look at the top five of the leaderboard every once in a while scroll through the leaderboard and see the different bases and how people are attacking and it's all relative to what you feel is going to be best uh, defense or offense, depending on what part of the game you're playing. So we have to salute SV6 from Alliance Aussie for holding down number one on the leaderboard and Empires and Allies. And that's going to do it for top five players. Doo -doo -doo -doo.